Are you curious to know if the evil eye has affected you? Well, in this video, we are going to uncover the 28 hidden signs that are associated with Elaine. But also, we are going to give you two tests that you can perform to explore if the evil eye has affected you. Let's begin. Bismillah. Number 1. Mental fog and sleep cravings. Individuals affected by Al Ain often experience a constant feeling of mental fog and a strong desire to sleep. They struggle to concentrate and lack energy. Number 2. Stretching and discomfort upon waking. A notable symptom of the evil eye is that affected individuals often stretch as soon as they wake up from sleep. This may be accompanied by a sense of stiffness and discomfort in the body. Number 3. Temporary paralysis in body parts. The evil eye can cause temporary paralysis in specific parts of the body. This can range from mild numbness to a complete loss of movement and control over the affected area. Number 4. Excessive sweating and urination. People suffering from al often experience excessive sweating, particularly on the forehead and back. This can occur without physical exertion or a hot environment and is often perceived as uncomfortable. Additionally, they frequently experience an increased frequency of urination without any underlying medical condition. Number 5. Abdominal cramps and diarrhea. The evil eye can also lead to abdominal cramps and diarrhea. Affected individuals often experience sudden and intense abdominal pain, followed by frequent loose bowel movements. Number 6. Frequent vomiting and unexplained nausea. Individuals affected by al Ain often suffer from frequent vomiting episodes. These attacks can occur unexpectedly and are not caused by food poisoning or other medical conditions. Additionally, they may experience unexplained nausea, followed by vomiting. They may suddenly feel a strong urge to vomit, even when there are no other causes for their nausea. Number 7. Burping and belching during treatment. During a Ruqya session, affected individuals often experience frequent burping and belching. Number 8. Emotional tendency to cry. An emotional tendency to cry is a common symptom of the evil eye. Affected individuals may feel overwhelmed by feelings of sadness without any apparent reason, often leading to a frequent need to cry. Number 9. Unusual cold sensations in the body. al Ain can cause certain body parts to feel unusually cold. Affected individuals may experience an intense sensation of coldness, even when the ambient temperature is normal. Number 9. Tingling sensations in body parts. People affected by the evil eye may experience tingling sensations in different parts of their bodies. This can range from mild prickling to a sensation of pins and needles in the skin. Number 11. Severe itching on the skin. Severe itching on the skin is a common symptom of Alain. Affected individuals may constantly feel the urge to scratch and often find no relief from the itching, even after scratching. Number 12. Rapid heartbeat. The evil eye can lead to an increased heart rate in affected individuals. They may experience a sense of restlessness and notice that their heart beats faster than usual, even at rest. Number 13. Increased body temperature and hair loss. Some individuals may experience an elevated body temperature as a result of Alain. This can be accompanied by unexplained hair loss, resulting in thinning hair or bald patches on the scalp. Number 14. Excessive blinking and eye rubbing. Affected individuals often have a tendency to blink their eyes frequently and rub them regularly. This can cause irritation and discomfort in the eyes, even in the absence of any medical reasons. Number 15. Dreams or hallucinations of staring eyes. A characteristic symptom of the evil eye is having dreams or hallucinations of staring eyes. Affected individuals may feel constantly watched, leading to anxiety and discomfort. Number 16. Yawning and watery eyes during treatment. Interestingly, affected individuals often experience frequent yawning and watery eyes during Ruqya sessions. However, this does not occur outside of the treatment sessions. Number 17. 
headaches. Headaches are a common symptom in individuals affected by al -Ain. The intensity of the headaches may vary and can be accompanied by feelings of pressure, throbbing sensations, or a heavy sensation in the head. Number 18. Decreased Appetite A common symptom of the evil eye is a decreased appetite. Affected individuals may have little to no interest in food and may feel quickly satiated during meals. Number 19. Inappropriate Body Temperature Regulation The evil eye can disrupt appropriate body temperature regulation. Affected individuals may feel excessively hot in cold environments or experience chills in warm environments. Number 20. Lower Back Pain and Tense Shoulders Lower back pain and tense, heavy shoulders are common symptoms of al-ain. Affected individuals often experience pain and stiffness in these areas, which can limit their range of motion. Number 21. Chest tightness and excessive crying. The evil eye can cause a feeling of tightness in the chest for affected individuals. This is often accompanied by excessive crying without a clear reason or trigger. Number 22. Depression and Negative Thoughts One of the more severe symptoms of the evil eye is depression. Affected individuals often exhibit decreased speech and laughter, have negative thoughts about life, and may even express a desire to die. Number 23. Intense Emotions and Abnormal Anger People suffering from al -Ain may experience intense emotions, such as abnormal anger, frustration, and anxiety. They may also experience psychological symptoms, including feelings of disillusionment and paranoia. Number 24. Difficulty with standing, walking, or heavy work. The evil eye can impose physical limitations such as difficulty with prolonged standing, walking, or engaging in heavy work. Affected individuals often experience rapid fatigue and a lack of energy. Number 25. Forgetfulness and drowsiness while studying. Another symptom of Al-Ain is forgetfulness and drowsiness while reading the Quran or studying. Affected individuals have difficulty concentrating and retaining information. Number 26. Sleep problems. Sleep problems, such as difficulty falling asleep, frequent awakening during the night, or nightmares, can occur in people affected by the evil eye. Number 27 skin conditions, and unexplained blemishes. The evil eye can also manifest as certain skin conditions and unexplained skin blemishes, such as eczema. These skin conditions can occur without any identifiable medical cause. Number 28. Yellowish complexion or black spots on skin. Another possible manifestation of al-Ain is a yellowish facial complexion or black spots on the face or body. These changes in skin color are unexplained and can affect a person's aesthetics. There are also two tests you can perform to explore whether the evil eye has affected you. Test number one, recite Surat Al-Falaq in the palms of your hand. Then gently wipe your face with your hands. Repeat this process 20 times. Pay close attention to any unusual sensations or reactions. If you find yourself experiencing uncontrollable and frequent yawning, accompanied by watery eyes, it could be an indication that you have been affected by al -Ain. Test number two. Recite the following two supplications in your hand. Then blow into your hands and gently wipe them over your face. Repeat this practice regularly. Observe your body's response. If you notice a significant increase in yawning, often followed by tears, it might be another sign that you have been affected. The first dua. أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق. The second dua. أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من كل شيطان وهامة ومن كل عين لامة. Please keep in mind that the symptoms we discussed earlier should be the ones that don't have a clear explanation. If you're experiencing three or more of these unexplained symptoms, it's advisable to consider undergoing ruqya. It's important to understand that having three or more of these symptoms doesn't automatically indicate that you are affected by al -Ain. Similarly, the absence of these symptoms does not guarantee that you are not affected. To be sure, it's best to get Ruqya done to check things out. Taking steps to take care of yourself is always a wise choice.